Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained. My name is DM Bloodworth, and uh, as you can tell by the graphics, uh, today I'm going to be featuring uh, Survive This Zombies. Uh, the, the actual game I'm going to show you is uh, First Edition. Uh, it's uh, put out by uh, Bloat Games. And uh, the way I came across this uh, game initially was that, uh, you know, Bloat Games had had, had the, uh, a Kickstarter for second edition of Survive This. And I had backed that. And that gave me um, the backing level that I, that I chose gave me the PDF of uh, the original Survive This as, as well as uh, Dungeons and Demogorgons. Uh, so I, you know, printed out those in PDF and you was going to take a look at it. Now, they currently also have another Kickstarter and I'll get to that a little bit later on. But I wanted, what I wanted to do was I wanted to just show you um, the game that they, they currently have. And um, just as a way to, you know, support you know, fellow YouTuber and, uh, and, and also, you know, an indie game developer, you know, because they're, you know, whenever I back a, a Kickstarter, you know, uh, and I really enjoy the product that they have, you know, I like to give them, uh, you know, give them uh, a shout out, uh, to, you know, what they've produced. So I'm trying a few things new here with the, uh, you know, with my channel and with presentations. So, uh, you know, some of it is, uh, you know, is going to be using different cameras and, and such. And the the clarity of some of it is not, you know, perfect because, uh, you know, I, I certainly need an upgrade in, in some of my uh, computer technology from screen to computer and, you know, probably graphics card and such. So, um, but in the meantime, you know, I hope to give the game uh, justice. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you uh, character creation and I've done a little bit of the the work uh, ahead of time uh, but uh, and I'm going to show you the book. Now again you're going to see it a little bit blurry because it's not um, you know the camera height that I have is not exactly optimal for showing you the clear picture but you can pick these games up um, in PDF form on uh, on drive through RPG and I'll include a link to uh, drive through on my uh, on my video when you know everything is uploaded so let's get to what we're going to be showing so so survive this zombies all right this is the collected edition uh, so this is the one that uh, I, I received from backing the Kickstarter and although you won't be able to clearly read this, uh, I'm just going to go through. And there's, you know, there's different sections of the book. So there's the introduction and it talks about, you know, role playing principles and, and such. Nothing, you know, some of the, you know, the forward and the background information of the, of the game and its, its setting. Then you go to the second section, which is the survivor's handbook. And, and this is basically the player's handbook. Uh, you know, part of it. So attributes are, you know, strength, intelligence, dexterity, constitution, charisma, and survival. Uh, a section on hit points, saving throws, which includes critical injuries, death, infection, poison. Um, the survivor classes, so there, there are character classes, and you have fixer, hunter, uh, leader, scavenger, slayer, and tracker. There's alignment, uh, just the three a three scale alignment, so it's good, neutral, and evil. Starting possessions, attack bonuses, and armor classes, and such. So, and the attributes are, are, are pretty self explanatory. Um, and the system for, for rolling attributes is uh, to roll, is to roll 46, dropping the lowest uh, number, and you roll seven times, although there's six attributes, so I don't exactly know what I do with the the seventh uh, roll, um, but we'll play that by ear. So what I was going to do was uh, I'm going to actually, you know, generate a character, you know, on screen for you. So this is the uh, this is the character sheet, and I'm just going to mock this up real fast, and I'm going to roll those uh, dice rolls, 
and so you can see kind of in real time. So you can uh, you can roll out all seven and then assign them. That's you know based on the uh, you know the prescribed way of of rolling. So and then I'll just record this down. So that's a an eleven a fourteen. Not a bad roll. Nope, oh, forgot. Uh, that is a sixteen. Uh, that is a 15. So far, the rolls are pretty good. And that is going to be a 10. That is going to be, well, that would be a great roll if you're shooting on it, a uh, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that there is a 15. And the seventh roll. And the seventh roll is a 13. So I've already decided that I was going to go with a uh, with a character that was going to be, you know, just a brute force melee based character. So I'm certainly going to put the 16, start off the 16 into strength. I'll put the a 15 into Constitution, a 15 into Dexterity, a, uh, a 13 into Survival. Um, actually, I should put a 14 into Survival. A 13 into Intelligence, and a 10. I don't know what the 6 is going to go into. A 10 into Charisma. All right. So the bonuses right now, the 16 strength will give me a plus 2, a 13 intelligence will probably give me a plus 1, a 15 dexterity will give me a plus 1, a 17 constitution will, uh, was that a 17? No, that was a, a 15 constitution will give me a plus 1, a charisma is a 0, and the survival of a 14 will give me a plus 1. So. We have that. Starting hit points, you roll 2d6 plus the constitution bonus. All right, if you roll less than 5, adjust the survivor's starting hit points to 5. All right, um, each time you increase level, you add another 2d6 uh, to that roll. So, um, I'm going to cheat a little bit, and, you know, this is usually a house rule anyway. Its starting character starts with maximum. So I'm going to go with 13 hit points. Uh, saving throws. Saving throws are special rules given to survivors. Second chance of life. All right. Um, each survivor has four saving throws. They're determined by the... Starting uh, for each saving throw, simply roll 2d4 plus the survivor's constitution bonus each time. Okay, that'll, that'll come. So that's a... So they're all just 2d4 plus your bonus. So um, each saving throw is limited to a maximum score of 18 points. It cannot exceed that amount. So, critical saves are rolled when the survivor takes 50% or more. All right, we'll worry about that later. I think I have basically a plus one across the board um, for those. So, my, my character class. So, there's, there's Fixer. Um, a fixer is, you know, they fix things. Uh, a hunter, they hunt things. I'm actually not showing you the... They seem to be on the opposite pages. Uh, so there's a hunter. There's a leader. All right, um, most important member of the group. The leader is the first person anyone looks to for... All right, Indiana. A scavenger, obviously they're good at finding things. Uh, so they are tribute bonuses. They, uh, 
They have plus three to escape. They have plus two to sensing zombies. They have plus one to finding items. A slayer is what I'm going to go with. So a slayer. A slayer gets a plus one to strength. So he's actually going to go up to a 17 strength. And I'll go back to the beginning and see if uh, a 17 actually gives me a plus two. Oh, I'm still at a plus two. So 17 strength. And he gets... Uh, he equips one martial weapon of my choice. Or one light arm, uh, body armor. Uh, bonus ability is uh, d20 rolls. Uh, so plus three to zombie death blow and plus two to uh, uh, sensing zombies. So I'll write that plus three to, uh, so I'm writing on the, the character sheet now. So he gets a plus three to zombie death. Zombie death rolls. And a plus two, plus two to sense zombies. All right, plus two to sense. Special ability beginning at third level. He's going to be first level, so we'll worry about that later. And that's it for... So attack bonus for melee uh, combat. The survivor adds their strength modifier to their d20 roll. All right, and then any additional mentioned uh, bonuses. So his attack bonus will be... A plus two. All right, and I believe actually I, I might have missed. Uh, I think he gets a plus one overall. Um, well, that's a scavenger. I believe they. Slayer gets a plus one to Oh no. no. So no additional plus one, just a plus one to damage there. So now we get to the zombie guide. And this is the this is the zombies uh you know master's guide. And you know they talk about you know experience points and you know how to deal with, uh, you know, locked in, you know, you know, traps and locked doors and uh, barred doors, uh, lighting, uh, initiative, attack bonuses, and such. All right, so um, very quickly, we're going to take a look at initiative. Now it's it's not a very like long, it's about a hundred and twenty pages uh, the rule book. They talk about movement and traps and such. So combat. So combat the zombie master, which is the name of the dungeon master, um, you know, or game master, um, will decide if there's there's surprise or not, and then if the you know players you know the players will roll and on a one to two. On a D6 or by um, the own judgment call, um, surprise can you know can occur. So party initiative attacks deals with damage. Then the party is lost initiative attacks and then deals damage. So whoever wins initiative, you know obviously first goes first. So initiative is a D6 roll, uh, and then you add your dexterity bonus, and it's 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 side initiative, so not each individual player roles. So I know that my initiative bonus is going to be a plus one to any. Attack bonuses for melee or combat. The survivor adds their strength modifier to their D-roll for their ranged long distance attack. They add their dexterity. So that's both to hit and to uh, special note, uh, Slayers also get a plus one bonus at levels three, five, seven, and nine. So I'm, I've rolled a first level character, so that's going to come in a little bit later. Mending Wounds, we're not going to worry about that so much. Um, armor Class, 
Your armor class, though, depending on the number of pieces of armor you're wearing, um, you can only have a maximum of a plus four overall to your armor class. So I've already determined what he's going to be wearing. And um, armor class is based on you start with an AC of 10 and then you add your dexterity modifiers and then your arm, armor modifiers. So my character is going to start with a 10 plus one for his dexterity. So that's an 11. And then the armor that he's wearing is going to give him another four. And so that's going to be an armor class of a total of 15. All right. Um, his weapons, and, and this is where, you know, I had a bit of a question about was, uh, you know, his weapons are, he starts with a martial weapon. And so I, I'm going with this character with a, a spiked, uh, a spiked uh, club or spiked bat, which will give him a, a 1d6 plus, uh, plus one, and, uh, and two throwing axes. All right, and then he's wearing basically a, you know, a biker's helmet, a leather jacket, leather pants, and leather boots. All of those combine up to the maximum of plus four. So that's where he gets his, you know, his stats from. All right, and so now I have my character basically laid out. So 13 hit points, a plus, uh, a plus two to attack uh, and damage with his melee weapons. And then he has the, you know, a 15 armor class. And basically I have all of his stats worked out. So. So here I have just a real quick, you know, scenario. I made up three, um, three living dead zombies. And uh, the first one has 11 hit points. The second one, eight. The third one, seven. The, um, their attack, their attack bonus I've listed here. So it's a plus two to hit, a plus one to damage. Their AC is an 11. They have a toughness of uh, minus two. Um, they bite for 1d6, they claw for 1d6 minus 1, and then they tear, which counts as both of their attacks. They tear at 1d6 plus 2. And then they get a number of attacks of, of 2 attacks uh, per round. And, and so what I was going to do really quick, since I know my character has 13, his attack bonuses overall are plus 2 plus two on both. His AC is a 15. So now I have a, a quick, you know, check off sheet that I can do. Let's see how long he actually lasts. So I am going to, just do this now. You know, I haven't sat and, you know, played out all these scenarios. You're kind of seeing this in, in real time, unscripted. And, uh, you know, we'll just do one really quick, uh, one really quick check. So I'm going to roll, you know, the black die will be their initiative and the white die will be my character's initiative. So they rolled a five with no bonuses. I rolled a three you know, with a dexterity, my any bonus was a, so they're gonna go first actually. And we'll have them fight one at a time. So let me get a d20. And so they will attack, all right. He rolled a six, all right. And so a six is not enough to, you know, to hit my character. And he'll get a second attack. We'll roll twice. Oh, a 17 is actually going to get through. And he'll do a bite. He did five points of damage. And that is going to be reduced by... Actually, we'll just give him the full five. So five points of damage. 13... Oh, my math just failed me for a second. Okay. So now my character will attack. 
He rolled a 14, which is higher than the AC, so he's going to hit. He's going to do a D6 plus 3 total. So he did 4 plus 7. The minus 2 toughness, so he's going to do 5 points of damage. All right, and so that will be a 6. We'll keep the initiative going. 17, he's going to hit. He did two. A three, he's going to miss. My character will attack a 13, hits. He did two plus three. That's five. Second attack, missed. Finally, so close fight. A five missed. Second attack, an 18 hit. Did two points of damage. A 13 is enough to hit. A two minus two is a zero. An eight missed. Ooh, this is gonna be a very close fight. A 14 misses, an 8 misses, a 17 hits, I did 4 plus 3, 7, and the zombie is destroyed. So, I mean, it, it's basically, you know, it's basically a, you know, you roll the hit if you've, if you've gotten past their armor class, then you do damage if they have any other kind of toughness that reduces the damage, um, and you just keep on going back and forth. Very, very simple rolling system. So, and, and, and that's the nice thing about the game is that, you know, it is very simple rules, very easy to get somebody to start into uh, this game. There's not a lot of, you know, skills and, and, and things to, you know, um, you know, things to remember, a lot of, you know, not a lot of minor rules to remember in order to uh, to get through. I mean, we didn't get into saving throws and, you know, doing the amount of damage. Like if you take more than half your, you know, more than half of your damage, uh, your total hit points in one strike, then that could create a critical, you know, a critical hit or a critical injury. And then you have to roll to see what the effects of that are concerned. But, you know, very simple, you know, set up. And, you know, flipping through, you know, there's some decent artwork in here. I mean, it's, it's, it's not, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, quality stuff. It's, it's nice, you know, nice pictures, you know, and, you know, they have different, different kind of, it's not just zombies. There, there are different uh, NPC uh, groups, you know, so non-player NPCs. So you have the living dead, you have the walkers, which are also zombies, you have runners, you have crawlers, you have leader zombies, you have rage zombies, you have zoodoo, uh, voodoo zombies, and then you have the fleshless speaking zombies. Um, but there are other things other than just zombies in here. Um, you do have various NPCs. Um, let's see. You do have various NPCs that you can also, uh, or NPC organizations like gangs and cults and those kinds of things as well. So, moving on, I'm going to bring up, uh, like I said, they, they do have a Kickstarter that's currently running right now. And I'll just bring this back to... The beginning and I'm going to fire up that so you can take a look and switch screens okay brief delay here and then uh, I'll let you watch the video Vigilantes as they are superpowers or using robotics tends have become part of RS guys are not good for the city Vigilante City.
And as you can see, there's uh, there's still 20 days to go on this uh, Kickstarter. Um, it has been backed already, so if you are jumping in and uh, you know backing this Kickstarter, you know that it's going to, you know, you know that it's going to come to you. Um, you know, so no risk of it uh, not going uh, not going uh, through. Uh, you can see that there are you know several layers. I mean, I already show that I supported it here uh, to get the you know the t-shirt and then the both the the core rules and print and PDF but many many different uh, levels now if you want everything that they've ever printed then you can go in at the you know the hundred dollar pledge level and basically get everything uh, including the game that I had just shown you uh, everything that they've printed thus far in both PDF and I'm, I'm assuming it's PDF. It might actually include the hard copies as well. But uh, but if you want to get individual game, you can always you know just go into uh, Drive Through RPG and pick up the individual games as well. So let me switch back over to here. So. I hope I gave the game uh, justice. Uh, like, like I said, when I back something, uh, I want to, you know, give a shout out to, you know, the projects that I backed. And uh, this is a new feature for my channel, and uh, you know, something that I'll certainly look to do uh, in the future. I have a couple other Kickstarters that I'm currently backing and waiting to, you know, get those materials. And and so I will do the same uh, for those, uh, you know, as they're you know, as they're coming along. And uh, once again, uh, thanks for joining. And uh, if you're not a, uh, currently a subscriber, please subscribe uh, to Unscripted and Unchained. Uh, hit the bell so that you'll see when new content is added in. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the gaming screen sometime in the near future. Have a good afternoon.